Okay, so this spider IDE has been messing with me a little too much, so I'm just going to switch to using... If you have git installed, you can do right-click in that folder, git bash here. You can do vi17 tab, hit enter, and we have that. Some of you might be annoyed that it's a white background instead of a black background with white text, but it's okay. Okay, so where are we now? And I have it printing these dots for the spaces. Okay, it's just more visible. Like you see here, there's extra spaces. I'm just going to clean up the spacing here a little bit. Whoops. So we have it creating a window. The next step is to create a new class. Class, and then we need to create a canvas. So this will be main plot canvas. That's what we'll call it anyway. Figure canvas QTAGG. That's the one we imported at the top over there, def in it self parent audio processor again and then uh, i don't even know that i have to conserve line numbers here because you all can see or not line numbers sorry i meant args i meant line length as long as we're under 120 characters per line i think we're good kw args okay so we do this self.fig equals figure dpi equals 300 constrained layout equals true self.ax equals self.fig so this x is axis add subplot 111 and then we do self.main window equals parent just in case we need it self.ap equals audio processor great super main plot canvas self dot init self dot fig all right and then we will have some other variables some other variables that we will be adding. But for now, let's see. So we have audio processor, self.sc equals main plot canvas self self.ap. Okay, so we pass in the audio processor and then self.sc dot, well, we'll need to coin in initialization. So actually we won't do that yet, we'll do set central with git self.sc and then self.show, that can be on the same line. So let's write that, let's see how that works. I'll go back to the command prompt, enter, ooh, all right, now we're talking. Now it's not much, but at least we have something. And by the way, the constrained layout over here, if we just copy that and we comment that out, if we set that to none, it might still work. I'm not sure. For this one, it still works, but I'll show you later. We'll, I'll uncomment this later. I'll just leave it as none for now so that I can show you what I mean. And then if you're still not sure what that does, play around with it. 